means. It's the use of technology, virtual platforms such as FaceTime, Zoom, or other HIPAA compliant platforms to deliver medical care. Telehealth can be a broad term, according to Nine Health expert Dr. Pyle Coley. Simply put, it's a way for a patient to see a doctor without being in the same room. We're not talking about emergencies here. Telehealth is a great way to adjust medications. It's a great way to talk about chronic health problems. It's even a great way to talk about acute or new problems that may come up. Telehealth requires an appointment, internet access, and a smartphone, tablet, or computer. You will meet face-to-face -face with a doctor. You can even send pictures of problems too, but there are limitations. The only downside of the telehealth visit is really that inability for your provider to check your vital signs or for them to examine you. So that's where you have to become their eyes and ears. Eyes and ears, but if you do plan to use telehealth often, consider having basic medical supplies on hand. They'll be able to help doctors diagnose problems. Get a scale, get a blood pressure cuff. Some people even get a pulse oximeter, which records your heart rate and your oxygen. And if something's just not right, it's best to go for a traditional checkup. Well, if you're having abdominal pain or you have a rash or some other problem where you feel like the exam is a critical component, then I think it may be a good idea to consider an in-person visit. For Take Care, I'm John Glasgow. John, thanks. If you're not sure if you need an in-person visit, Dr. Coley says, it is best to start with a telehealth visit. Most major health insurance plans are reimbursing telehealth visits as they would in person.